Hello once again, Melissa and Martin here from Schildwacher Potsdam. And today we talk about Giovanni Dallagocchi's play to learn if you have a duel and need to fence within 30 days. Okay, so um, Dallagocchi gives us a very straightforward play that is also found in some variant or another in other sources as well. And that is also called the universal parry in Bolognese swordsmanship. So what's that? Well, any strike that comes towards you, you can parry with a reverso scolimbro. So basically a diagonal reverso, so 60 degree line or something like this from either Porto di Ferrostretta or Larga. Doesn't matter if it's a mandrito or if it's a reverso. And from there we thrust an imbroccata, so a thrust from above. Basically we are parrying everything towards our outside and then closing them out on the outside while thrusting in our imbroccata. So that's the, the basic play that uh, Giovanni de Lagocchi gives us. So from here we parry and we thrust and you need uh, you take footwork as needed, okay? Don't worry about it too much. The variants I, I uh, recalled earlier uh, are uh, Angelo Vigiani, of course, who basically does the same kind of play, but he does it with a roverso tondo, or rovescio tondo in his sword, and then he goes in for the punta sopra mano, so basically it's still an imbroccata. There's also the variant that you could do this with either a roverso ridoppio, so an upwards ro roverso that is also found in Giovanni della Gocchia, where you still thrust your imbroccata, or even with the falso manco. So this would be uh, especially in Manciolino, and then you, you can turn, or you could maybe even strike down. So these kind of plays are very common in Italian uh, sword play. Last bit, if uh, you want to use this kind of play with a two-handed sword, then I would uh, recommend that you don't start actually on your inside. So you don't go with the reverso, but you're actually doing this with the mandrito. And you can also choose, depending on the culling line, if you go squalimbro, tondo, or ridoppio, but the end position would be guardi di faccia. So especially with the two-handed sword, like these cross positions are a bit harder to do. So especially for beginners, while well, these are still feasible and we see guardi di croce in Marozzo quite a lot, it's way easier to do this in this kind of position, either guardi di faccia or in Marozzo, this would be guardi d'entrare, either non in lago passo or in lago passo. So basically, if anything comes towards you, we parry it towards our inside and then we thrust in that punta reversa. Okay, so just a note for you two-handed sword people out there, uh, try it on the other side. You can basically mirror everything, right? You step away from the opponent's blade and you step in with your thrust, closing the opponent out. All right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and ciao.